Hey booktube, it's Charlie from Reader Turned Writer and today I'm doing the 19 random questions tag. I was tagged to do this one by Faye at Mystery Date with a Book. I really really like her channel. She is so upbeat and positive and just really genuine. Her personality really shines through and she reads a lot of great books. She also does a lot of other bookish content like I really enjoy her videos on her bookish bullet journal and hearing about her fitness channel that she has tied with book tied up in books and different things like that and so go ahead and check out her channel I'll link it down below I'm not sure where the original tag is I haven't been able to find it and it looks like other people haven't either so I don't know who the original person was that made this but I'll just jump into the questions now question one do you make your bed every day I do make my bed every day I feel like it helps my room feel nice. Our house, we have two, we have a two-year-old and a four-year-old and so our house can get pretty messy sometimes but our room I like to keep mostly clean and making the bed really helps with that. Question two, what is your favorite number? My favorite number is eight. It always has been. I don't really have a reason for it. <laughs> Question three, what is your dream job? I don't know, I think probably just being a mom like I am right now or you know I guess maybe stuff with booktube. I really really like booktube. I didn't realize that how much I would like it before. Maybe being a writer. I'm not really sure that one. I like want to be a writer but I also don't and so I'm not sure. If I needed to go get a job to make money I would probably either want to do something on my own like a, a small business type thing or I would either be a teacher or a therapist. That's my degree in school was like a stepping stone to get a master's degree to be like a therapist or something but I also think I really enjoy teaching especially elementary school type type teaching question four if you could would you go back to high school never I don't miss high school I wasn't sad at graduation I would never go back <laughs> question five can you parallel park in under three moves probably not anymore I have parallel parked twice in my life once when I was practicing with my aunt so I could pass like the little test they have at school and then for the test and that's it. <laughs> Question six, a job you once had that people would be shocked to hear that you had. Um, honestly, I haven't really had that many jobs in my life. So I, I mean I did like stuff as a kid to make money like babysitting and I would pass out flyers for my uncle's small business all the time. In high school I was a janitor at my high school after school. In college I worked at a deli and then after I got married I worked at a call center and then I was a mom <laughs> and that's it. Question 7. Do you think aliens are real? Um, yes. But I think that they would look like us and I definitely believe that there are people like other people in other planets and other worlds and things like that. But I don't think that they would look super weird. Maybe they have weird animals on their planets, but I think that they would look like us. Question 8. Can you drive a stick shift? Yes. Question 9. Guilty TV pleasures? Uh, Gilmore Girls? Bones? Question 11. If the world ends, would you want to be one of the survivors? Probably not. That would be really hard, although I would probably try to survive if it came to it. Question 12. Things that people do that drive you insane. Okay, here's one. When you're driving and there, you're in the lane and then there's not two lanes but there's like the shoulder of the road and it's big enough that you can fit like the whole car plus some in it and people go to turn and they don't go over to the shoulder and they like slow way down so then you have to slow down and you're like why didn't you just get over and then I wouldn't even have to slow down. I hate that. Also tailgating. I cannot handle tailgating. Drives me crazy. Question 13. Do you have any birthmarks? I don't. Question 14. Favorite childhood game? I don't know. I remember doing like hands up, stands up, four square, you know, all the normal games in the play on the playground. My brother and I made up our own like princess and peasant game where he was a peasant named Nick and I was the princess and there was a dark lord and we played that for hours and hours and hours. <laughs> Question 15. Do you talk to yourself? Yes. 
Although now that I have kids, I can pretend like I am talking to them, like in the storm going along, and I'm like, oh, we need such and such, and I can pretend like I'm talking to my toddler instead of talking to myself, which is really what I'm doing. <laughs> Question 16, do you like doing puzzles? Um, yeah, I'm not a huge puzzle person, though, I have to admit. My four-year-old loves puzzles, though, and... <laughs> Trust me, if you had a four-year-old who loved doing puzzles, you might not answer yes to this question either. 17. Favorite music genre? I honestly don't know. I like pretty much all music except for like the screaming music or like hardcore country. I like country like Rascal Flatts, Brad Paisley, you know, country music like that, but like country music that's like, I'm in a truck and we're driving down the country road. I'm not so much into that. But I like most popular music and most music that I hear. I'm like, yeah, I like that. Question 18, tea or coffee? I actually don't drink either. I drink lemon water in the mornings and I drink mostly just water. I don't, I'm, I've never been a big drinker of other things besides water. And as I've gotten older, I found that it's healthier for me to just drink water because then I can get in the amount of water that I feel like my body needs. Question 19. First thing you remember wanting to be when you were growing up? And for this, I would definitely say a teacher. I can remember for all through basically elementary school, middle school, and high school, I thought I was going to be a teacher. So <laughs> kind of changed in high school, near the end of high school and in college. And now I'm a mother and I love it. That's all the questions. Thanks, Faye, for tagging me. It was really fun to answer these. It's always fun to kind of talk about yourself. I do want to tag a couple people. First, I wanted to tag Josie at Books and Ballet. She is a super, super cute girl. I really like her channel. One of the things I really like about her channel is just how original her content is. When I'm going through my feed, she always has these super fun, kind of just original videos that I always want to click on and watch and they're always I always almost always laugh during her videos and I agree with a lot of what she says and talks about and I also she has a gorgeous bookshelf with gorgeous books on it and I always love watching it because of that. I also wanted to tag Katie at a sea of tombs. I really enjoy her videos as well. I feel like I really enjoy commenting or like talking with her in the comments because she has a lot of really interesting things to say and uh, we've kind of had some conversations that I've really enjoyed and she has tons of different bookshelves throughout her house so she films in different places and I really enjoy the kinds of books that she reads and, and she does a lot of book reviews as well and so I get to hear a lot of her thoughts on that and she also, te she's recently shared, it feels like, a lot of mystery historical fictions which are really fun for me so go ahead and check out the, their channels down below and if they if you guys haven't done it then I would love to see your videos uh, if you decide to make them and yeah if you haven't done this tag go ahead and consider yourself tagged and do it and thanks for watching my video I will see you in the next one